in the secret, in the quiet place, in the stillness you are there, in the secret, in the quiet hour I wait, only for you, I want to I want to touch you, I want to hear your voice, I want to know you more, in the secret, in the quiet place, in the stillness you are there, in the secret, in the quiet hour I wait only for you and I want to know you more. We wait. We wait for Jesus. So guys, I've been reading this book called um, The Prayer of Protection. It's by Joseph Prince. It might be backwards for you guys, but called the prayer of protection and it's talking about Psalms 91 is just breaking down the verses and he goes into depth on the first verse we can dwell in the secret place of the most high a place of peace safety and security because of the blood of Jesus so the first verse of Psalm 91 says he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So when I was reading this, and then he said this, Joseph Prince says, We can dwell in the secret place of the Most High, a place of peace, safety, and security because of the blood of Jesus. It just, um, as I was reading it, I was just thinking, wow, it's, it's the true peace, safety, and security. You know, the world is proclaiming peace and safety and security but it is not the true peace and safety and security that we are to have and um, the enemy always has a counterfeit for what God has and it's never as good <laughs> so I just wanted to um, read this portion of his book there's like a paragraph here it talks about the names actually used in the scripture in the Hebrew for most high and the Almighty, uh, shadow of the Almighty. And it's just a beautiful picture. Um, and hopefully this will um, excite you guys as much as it did me and just uh, brought peace to my heart. And it was just a, a good thing to hear, you know. So I'm just going to read this paragraph to you from this book. Now, because of the completed work of our Lord Jesus, we can have free access into the presence of our Elion, the Most High. Elion is the, is the Most High. We can abide under the shadow of the Almighty, or Shaddai. The, these two Hebrew names of God, Elion and Shaddai, in the first verse of Psalm 91 alone, help to put our problems in perspective. In and of ourselves our present challenges may appear insurmountable <laughs> quite true <laughs> but when we are resting in the presence of El Elyon God Most High the possessor of heaven and earth that's from Genesis 14 19 and abiding under the shadow of El Shaddai God Almighty the all-sufficient one all of a sudden our adversities don't seem so intimidating after all. And I wrote in here, the earth is his, it is he who made it, and we are his. You know, and I think that's from Psalms 100. <laughs> it is he who made the earth, you know. And he knows what he's doing in this time. So... 
anyway that was just a short blurb from this book I've been reading it. it's got a lot of really good stuff in it so if you can read it or check it out at your library or something I don't know um, it's a good book and um, I feel like I need to be in the secret place <laughs> right now uh, there's been a lot happening in my life um, personally I've been um, dealing with accusations um, on YouTube and um, people taking me out of context and it's amazing to me because it seems in this world today we are to answer for things we don't even say um, things that we're not professing we're being um, attacked for and um, not only was I getting accusations there? I was getting ac accusations personally from another situation. And it was all coming at once. And then <laughs> um, a beautiful lady from my church um, passed away um, from COVID, they say. So um, she was a beautiful lady. She was very sweet. She was always giving my family McDonald's gift cards. <laughs> And um, she was an older lady, but she was she's a very kind person and very fun. She's very spunky. Uh, she would have her hair dyed blue in the front and it was white in the back. <laughs> it was really cute. Anyway, the thing I know about her is she's with the father now. And she got to go a little earlier than we did. So that's a good thing. But it's just been kind of a difficult week. I find myself um, just feeling a little under under it all <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna keep putting on the armor of God like I told you guys you know keep putting on the armor and you know I did have moments of just bursting into tears this week for so many reasons um, but I also wanted to tell you guys that I joined parlor and I'm gonna link my um, name below so you can find me on there if you would like to also because I will be posting I post things about end times on there so um, because I can't always make videos for everything I can post articles on there easily and they're not gonna get censored or or whatever so I put that out there for you guys to check out if you would like to also I'm going to link I think two or three videos below these videos were so good. Um, one's talking about the third temple. It's from the the Temple Institute. Um, another one is a dream, three dreams this woman had, but they were so spot on that I just I had to share with whoever I can. So I'm, it's from it was on Facebook, so I'll link that in. And then the other one was um, a video by. I cannot remember who made it, but it has to do with um, the Third Temple and um, Trump and Cyrus and all that. But um, I don't know if I fully agree with the angle they went with it, but I do like the information it had about the Third Temple in there. I thought that was very interesting. So if you are interested in any of those videos, check them out and... Um, um, share with whoever you can uh, especially the dream one it's very good um, it gave me so much hope and the fact that okay in the dream she talks about uh, the number 11 which was very important to me when she said that because I have been writing down 11 for months I see 11 every time I look at the clock almost every time it's something 11 <laughs> um, and uh, we're in the 11th month on our calendar we're not in the 11th month on the Jewish calendar so I don't know if that's gonna make a difference um, but I just I'm just I'm excited because I know the Lord is coming very soon and um, uh, the enemy tries to to knock me down but I get back up again <laughs> I know that's a song I get knocked down but I get up again right uh, so um, I hope you guys are doing well. I am praying for you and um, I hope you are blessed and that the Lord is just with you every moment and no matter what it seems like, we can just rest in the secret place of the Most High, right? So guys, I will 
see you in the air. <laughs> um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.